So, this is me. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple things. Uh, my worry all the time is if you fall, how do you get back up? I'm in an open space. Uh, so, if you have the ability, once you get confident with what leg you have left and uh, what confidence you can get in the leg that you do have, you can do it two ways. Uh, turn over and stand up. You're confident uh, with balance. If not, you know, uh, do it with a wall. Um, I always said, if I couldn't do anything, I could always, you know, support myself with a wall. And you can. So, different ways to get up. If you don't have a lot, you have to fall. So, I'm going to hop over here to my crutches. So, there's a piece, if you do crutches, where the handle is. It's right there. It's a butterfly, or a, yeah, I think it's a butterfly nut. I don't remember, but you want that facing the back side of you. If you have it facing forward, you'll catch your pocket and you'll tend to trip. So I do advise getting extra padding. It helps. It's not great, but it helps. So make sure your footing and everything is uh, good you don't want to uh, fall so excuse the movement so this is my front door so what I tend to do is on the way out I will get all the way to the threshold put my foot on it and then put my crutches out then go out. Same with going back in the door. Uh, I get as close as I can to the threshold. I put my one foot in. Best to lean forward if nothing else. You'd rather fall forward where you can get yourself good than leaning back and can't catch yourself. But then I bring my crutches in and now I'm stable. Um, I don't have stairs in my house. Uh, it is thankfully, um, but I have done stairs. It is the same way. So you get up to the bottom of the step, with crutches and foot. You, then you put a foot up, bring your crutches up. Then you bring a foot up, bring crutches up. It's always gonna be more helpful if you have somebody there to support your, your back just in case because the more steps if you fall backwards definitely gonna hurt yourself uh, so if you ever think that there's that time do that um, big things are know where you're going um, know what's there if you have carpet it will tend to catch your you know I have a I have a rug in my living room and so if I don't think about it as I'm going up I lift high enough I'll catch it and you want to fall I haven't fallen, I catch myself, but uh, always know where the obstacles are, try to have a clear path, um, you know, those kinds of things. Um, uh, those are the biggest things I can tell you. Um, if you need more uh, instructions, um, give me more of a, an idea of what you need, um, but uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I do all my house stuff generally with my walker. Um, I don't really know why other than somebody gave it to me first. Um, it's actually more of a pain because you have to put it and then lift yourself, put it and lift yourself. You can, um, it works just fine. And I do it the opposite way of, or no, I do it the same way, excuse me getting out the door with a walker. I will set the whole walker out and then I will kind of hop out, press myself up, you know, and then when I come in, I actually put it in the door first and then hop over the, the doorway uh, or the threshold. 
Um, I can show you that as well if that's something you're after. The uh, only reason I'm not going to do it right now is because my camera is attached to it. Uh, I'm not a camera person. I make these things up as I go. Uh, what else? Um, you know, big thing will be if you have the ability um, is, you know, you can put your crutches down, um, you know, and or even up. Try to balance. Strengthen your core. This is what this does. Strengthen your ankle, your foot. You know, do it for as long as you can. Um, do, you know, bend over. Uh, do a squat with, with one leg. Those are called pistols. I used to do it when I did CrossFit. Um, that's serious. Uh, you know, do anything you can to strengthen that leg. Um, don't hurt it. It is what you have left. Um, so uh, be careful with it. Um, like I said, just, uh, you know, I'm not good at instructional stuff um, unless I'm doing it. Uh, if you give me ideas of exactly what you're after, I will put it, I will do another video. I, I promise you, I'm so sorry that it took this long. Um, had, it never fails when I, you know, I'm always doing something and then I get bored and do other things. And um, then when I think about it again, it's, you know, my, my other half is coming home and we cook and then we watch TV and then we go to bed and you know it's the same routine over and over and over so uh, I apologize it took this long so I'll send this to you right now this is July 7th you probably asked for it two and a half weeks ago at least and I'm just now getting to it so I apologize but please uh, text me back whatever you want to do and let me know if there's some more that I could do uh, those are the biggest things you'll kind of catch on to doing other stuff um, other than rain, I, I don't do it much in rain, but if you do, make sure you do it in a shoe that has grip on it. Don't do it in a flip-flop. I wouldn't recommend doing crutches and flip-flops at all, just because you catch on something and you could face plant or whatever. I do it, not gonna lie, but um, try to do stuff that the shoes aren't gonna slip if you happen to go out in the rain, just because you, know, you don't want to. These will have enough slip, you know, as long as you're straight up and down with them, they shouldn't slip, but people tend to get out and then they'll slide out from up under you. So if you happen to go in the rain, straight up and down. So again, uh, let me know. I will do it and I'll do it a lot sooner. Uh, uh, like I said, I've gotten a second wind and I'm trying to work myself out and get to where I need to be because I have a leg coming soon and uh, I want to be better. So. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry, but I do appreciate you reaching out to me, and that's all I have for this moment.